welcome back. Close my eyes, you're looking back at me. As real as autumn air I take in. Hey guys, breathe. welcome back and hello if you are new. I don't know what this is. Hello if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make lots of decor videos just like this one. I also make lots of lifestyle content, mommy content, what's for dinner, plus size fashion, beauty, and all of that type of stuff. So I would love it if you hit that this hit the hoo hoo. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join your little family. And I would also really appreciate it if you followed me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is one of my very, very favorites of the whole entire year, and that is my fall decor home tour, decorate with me, all of that type of stuff. I got a lot of new fall decor this year and I have shared pretty much everything with you um, in my last fall haul video. So if you haven't already seen that, I definitely recommend watching that first. And this is the video where I show you where I put it all, along with all of the other stuff from years past. Um, I've now kind of taken the liberty to decorate pretty much every single room. As you can tell, we have our bed decorated. I decorated my girls' room this year. Um, we decorated everything, the kitchen, the dining room, the whole living room. Everything is so cozy and so fall vibe. And <laughs> I know that um, a lot of people are kind of asking why people are decorating so early and stuff like that this year since it is still like 104 here in Texas but I think 2020 has been hard enough and I know that we just want to enjoy the changing of the seasons and really looking forward to hopefully a fresh new season that brings nothing but goodness and blessings and that is what I'm holding on to and hoping for and praying for. Um, so that's why I decorated this early but I do typically decorate early anyway so it's not that big of a difference or change for me. But I know for a lot of other people, people are decorating a little bit earlier this year because they're just ready for that change. Most of the stuff that I'm showing you in this video is pretty much from Hobby Lobby, Amazon, maybe a little bit from Target here and there. But for the majority, those are the two places that I really have most of my fall decor from. Um, like I said, if you're looking for any new recent pieces, they have all been linked in my fall haul video. Um, so let's just decorate together and I hope you enjoy this. I hope you feel warm and cozy and invited and welcomed into our little home. So let's just get started on the decorating, shall we? All right, so we're gonna get started in my girls' room. I've been trying to decorate their room in some way every single holiday, whether it's big or small, and this year is no exception, if not even more this year, because of what the state of our world is in and our country. They need a little sunshine as much as I do, and so I decided to make sure I really went um, all out for these next year's, uh, all of their holiday decorations for the room, and the girls loved it. So I'm just using a basic black comforter. I bought um, these from Walmart. They're just twin comforters, and I tuck them a little bit underneath. Um, I used this uh, color because I thought it'd be a really good transition for Halloween decor, and then I just have these pillow covers that I got from from Amazon and these really adorable pillows that are from Hobby Lobby this year and I loved them. Eleanor has a different one on her bed. I'm just gonna take down the summer decor. This decor has been there for way too long and it was never actually the way I wanted it. I just kind of threw stuff up there because initially I was pregnant and wanted just to get it done. Um, I never decorated and then you know hell in a handbasket is all I like to say and that was what the summer was. <laughs> um, next we have these really cute wood decor pieces that I also got from Hobby Lobby this year and I just love them. I love the just like young vibes that they give. They just make me think of just happy pumpkin patch college to me um, and I just thought that they were really perfect for a little girl's room. I also got these little wooden ornaments and let me tell you they were giving me such a fuss because they were so bottom heavy. They just kept twisting and twisting but eventually I kind of got it to work and then I just gave up and didn't care but still I liked the vibe that it gave the room. I actually did go back and add pumpkins later on just to add a little bit of extra fun, a little extra pumpkin a little extra fall to the room um, but I forgot to film that little piece but we have multiple of these little trucks around the house they are my favorite they just are so cute and then these little woodland creatures I also think are adorable for a little kids room and I want to get the whole set I should have gotten the whole set this is Eleanor's little side and her pillow 
um, and then Ollie has a different one um, and then you will see the burlap garlands um, hanging at the end of the bed that are from Amazon this year and I just thought they were really cute I wanted to get like an orange blanket to go on the bottom of the bed but I decided against it and just kept it simple for now and the girls love it and it's just a nice fun touch for their room that transitions well in the fall and will be perfect for Halloween All right, moving on to the living room area. First off, please let me apologize for my hair, my face, my outfits in this video. Honestly, all I gotta say is that we're in the middle of the pandemic, people, and uh, that's about that. That's all I wanna say about it. Anyway, um, my husband and I are just taking down our summer hodgepodge decorations again. I just kinda threw things up this summer. Um, but we're taking it all down, and he's been so excited to decorate this fall season. I've never seen him so excited to decorate for the holidays. I think he's just really excited for the cozy decor. It brings him a lot of joy, and it's been so nice to see him kind of evolve into that as well. Um, as I I do because I'm always the one who's really loved it but it's fun to see him get excited for it now too um, just as much as the girls do also if you guys have any garlands that you like um, you that are a bit more I guess a little less cheesy than let me know I've had this garland since I um, moved out in college and I am just ready for something new and a little bit more uh, realistic and um, but still have that really beautiful warm vibes just a little bit different so let me know if you have any ideas or any places to shop for them um, next you're gonna see me take away add take away change tweak um, I don't always include it in the actual video because it would take too long but you will see at the end how everything ended up turning out um, and if you see things missing or added throughout the, uh, the video just know I'm constantly tweaking while I'm decorating um, so that is that reason these leaves I've had since college as well. I think I've had them probably at least for like seven or eight years and I love them. They're one of my very favorite decorations to pull out. They're so simple. I got them at the Dollar Tree, um, but there's just something about them that I love so much. I love the way they look. I love the just rustic vibe of them. They're so cute and they're my favorite thing and they bring back so many memories and I love hanging them up on my mantle like little stockings. I also hang them up right here on these light strands that my uh, husband's putting up we put up every year we've also had these for about eight years or so maybe longer um, I love the little candy corns when you turn them off you can see the different colors um, next we're moving to my gallery wall quote unquote um, it definitely didn't turn out as well as I would have liked it. I do plan on adding more and more each year. I think it'll just be fun if it's ridiculous and over the top and everything. Um, this year was a little bland for me. I needed a little extra. I thought it was going to be a bit more vivacious and vibrant than it was, but it's still really cute and the color palette's really neutral. So if you like that, then this is for you. I got all these items from Hobby Lobby and I believe they still carry them all this year. Um, and a couple of those ones I just showed you are new. So. They're really cute, and I do like the neutral um, wall, but I just, I, I need a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? It was a little bit too, too brab, drab for me, but I will just add more next year. <laughs> but hopefully next year, we will have a bigger wall and actually be in our first home instead of an apartment. That is our home and hope and prayers. Um, next, you're gonna see my Mrs. Meyer scent. It's my absolute favorite, the acorn spice, I believe it's what it's called. I saved my last drigs from last fall um, and used it this year. Um, this is my Escape to Another pl uh, Place playlist. I've talked about it so many times here on my channel. It's just a bunch of uh, rooms, essentially, and outdoor settings and stuff like that just to add some coziness um, and themes and sleep help, and I use it all the time. It's linked in um, on one of my playlists on my profile. I highly recommend checking it out. If you like ambient rooms and just themes, we have it going all the time, and I've turned so many people onto it, and they love it. It's so much fun. There's like 300 videos or something ridiculous on there. There's a ton. Anyway, I'm just adding um, my pillows on there. That pillow never matches, but as you can tell, my Good Morning Pumpkin is alive and well. I add so many of either Morning Pumpkin, Good Morning Pumpkin, Hello Pumpkin. It is all over my apartment, and I never realized that I kept buying things just like that. So you're going to see that a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm just getting rid of um, all of my summer decorations and just neutral pillow decor and putting out, up my um, fall pillows. These are covers, the little gingham checked ones are new covers I got this year. And the other pillows are just 
dingy and gross ones, but they're from a Walmart, and I do love them. They, I just need a new set, but I am putting them on the couch right now because I ordered pillow covers, which you will see at the end. Here's another morning pumpkin thing, I tell you what. Um, you'll see the pillow covers at the end on them, so it'll all come together, but right now they're looking dingy. Here's my new trick, is to buy a giant blanket scarf for like seven, eight bucks on Amazon. You can buy a ton of different ones and use it as a throw. This is only halfway open. It opens completely even more, double the size. It is super cozy. It's really nice to have like a lightweight, lightweight little blanket, but it's still cozy and warm and it just adds a nice little throw without spending like $30, $40 on a throw at the store. I didn't love the colors of this one this year, but it does look super fallish. I just didn't love it with my couch, but we're going to make it work. But that is my new trick and I got it off Amazon. Highly recommend doing that. Next, we're moving to my bar cart. Our house has been a hot mess since this pandemic hit, honestly. Um, so forgive all the clutter everywhere. We're trying to make it work. As you can see, my husband back there is moving the couch because he has an obsession with finding all spiders and killing them. No matter how much I try to stop him, he hates spiders. They terrify the crap out of him. And so he's hunting them down and destroying all their eggs. He does this all the time. Um, I just thought to let you know, leave that little in there if you have a husband who also hates spiders as much as mine does. Anyway, um, this is kind of my more like girly side of the bar cart area. I liked that sign so much and I made it work. It may not go with my color scheme, but I made it work. Next, these uh, towels were from Target last year and I loved them so much. I hope they bring back similar ones this year. I haven't had a chance to go to the fall decor section this year, um, but I'm hoping to go soon. So let me know if you have and what you recommend picking up. Um, I loved this these galvanized metal signs from Hobby Lobby this year. I thought they were so cute, and this just added so much fun and warmth to my kitchen. Um, my big old head all up in the way, but I definitely recommend them. I really, really liked them. And here we go, adding my mugs into it. Once again, just adding that warmth to the kitchen area. And my coffee pot is missing, but let me tell you that I love this coffee pot. It is the absolute best. I highly recommend it. I thought I edited this part out of my husband's back, but I didn't. <laughs> We're just going to roll with it. Anyway, I highly recommend this Ninja coffee pot. I got rid of my Keurig because I was just over it. I didn't think it made really good coffee. I'm just, it was, I was done. And I love this Ninja coffee pot. Highly recommend. Great Christmas gift, <laughs> but I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, this is how the kitchen turned out. I love my little coffee bar area. I wish I had more space to actually have a coffee bar, but we will make it work, and I really liked how that turned out. Once again, the Hello Pumpkin. So many of you ended up telling me that you got this exact same thing, and I love it so much. I think it is so adorable, and I also really love this little Hello Fall sign, and it works perfectly on the back of the stove. All right, moving on to our bedroom. This bedding set is from Walmart from last year, and the pillow covers are from Amazon, and that little garland is from Hobby Lobby this year. Um, this little give thanks sign is from Michaels this year and I love it next to our bed. I think it per works so perfectly, like all the colors, the wood, I love everything about it. It just makes me so happy to look at it as I get into bed. And here's the big reveal. So I added those leaves on the lights and I love the way it looks, especially during sunset where the lights are just glowing and the leaves are slightly kind of blowing from the AC. It is just so homey and warm and magical. And I've just so enjoyed it. So I hope this video just has made you feel cozy and warm, like you've been wrapped in a big warm hug. I know that's what I've been trying to find when I'm watching all these fall videos, um, especially right now in the time that we are in. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Um, and you're going to see here, these pillow covers are the ones that I was mentioning earlier that I put on the cream pillows. These are from Amazon and they are so soft and cozy. They're like minky little... Um, blanket pillows and I think they look really nice next to the buffalo check covers and just add a nice bright pop of color and warmth to our very dark charcoal couch. Um, but that is going to be the end of this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope as the autumn approaches and whether you're decorating or not, I hope that you feel blessed. I hope that you have hope and joy in this next season. I know right now everything feels so uncertain and so scary for so many of us, but I hope that you know that I think about you guys all the time. I pray for you all the time and that you are loved and you're cared about here and this is a safe space for you to feel loved and 
cared about and warm and I hope that you feel that through these videos and that you've enjoyed it. I know home decor doesn't seem super deep, but it is something for a safe space for you guys to have to get your mind off the stressors of life and I hope that you feel that here. But I really appreciate you watching and taking a part um, in my life and being such good and kind friends to me. So I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Thank you guys and happy soon to be autumn. <laughs>